four bins of Nazi documents and soul books and verpasses and promotional documents and letters from Himmler and Hitler birthday cards. And this is kind of a funny story. You can keep it in secret so, <laughs> <laughs> I so know my wife your, wife, your wife can see it. There were a oh, lot yeah. of pictures taken by... Uh... Hello everybody, this is War Story Video Vlog. I'm Alex and I'm here in uh, Wisconsin in Milwaukee. And... Uh, <laughs> And we have guys here, uh, Mark and Jerry, and uh, I always uh, want to visit them here in uh, this shop in uh, military collectibles. And guys, hello, how are you? Hey, good, how are hello. you doing? Fine, how are you? Fine. How are you? Hello. I'm well. Yeah. How are you? Hey, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Guys, uh, Mark is Jerry, Jerry, it's Mark. <laughs> yeah. Right, Jerry, Mark, Mark. So, um, I've been here in February and um, I filmed video and I will show it to you later because um, a lot of things happened since I was here last time, but uh, I promise you I will publish this uh, video. But uh, now, guys, uh, can you tell us what's going on uh, on the market and uh, do you have yeah, some the, new the items? Market, the, mar the military market is still doing hot. Um, you know, there's, it, we can't keep stuff in. Um, German daggers, very hot. German helmets, very hot. German badges, very hot. Um, I hear there's a new market opening up for Japanese swords as well. Um, but a lot of stuff really popular. Um, anything unusual, anything camouflaged, anything um, worn, a lot of, you know, battlefield pickup kind of stuff is very popular now. Cutoffs, uh, I collect a lot of those myself. Um, and, and can we once uh, see your collection too? At, at some point, yeah. Um, let me know when you're going to be in town again. And I'll dig it out of the vault. Okay. So we can, we can press like if yeah. you want. Press to. like. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a good idea. And uh, if you want to see collection, just press like and leave comment about it. And um, I am here in uh, town. I want to buy really big collection of um, Japanese swords, and it was a lot of work to sort it to pull everything out from uh, boxes to see it 15 boxes of uh, items and uh, we can see what is inside uh, here we are this one is navy sword naval sword japanese uh, world war ii period there are army swords and a bunch of them inside in these boxes so i want to open every uh, box count and i filmed video uh, yeah. But uh, I film it better. I didn't make decision uh, about need I buy it or not, so I am still in process. <laughs> right. Uh, yes, but uh, you can edit that in later. Oh uh, no, no, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, when you tell market is hot, what does it mean for uh, our subscribers? Can I, you, you know, tell I, us? I think what's happening is a lot of people who've been cooped up. They haven't been able to go to shows. They want to buy things. They want to collect things. They haven't been able to get out. And now they can. So people are looking for things again. People are looking to add those pieces to their collections. They're they're going to shows. Shows have been very popular if, if they're still running shows in your area. Um, people are buying things off the net. Our, our net sales, um, have, have we've hit our records. We, we've sold more in the past year than we have previously. Wow. Um, so yeah, that, so that, that's been good. Even with the economy now shaking a little bit, um, you know, gas prices are high, so maybe people don't want to drive quite as far to go to shows, so they'll buy things online. Um, so we're having a little bit of a hard time finding some items, you know. We're, we're still having a lot of stuff come in the store, and that's where we're very lucky because we have people bring things to us. But we don't necessarily go decide what they bring in, you know, so we get a lot of uh, stuff, you know, like a lot of U.S. World War II you know, I mean, these aren't necessarily prime items, but they still they still have value and there's still a collector market for them. You know, now if I could change every uniform for a chained SS dagger, yeah, then I'd, I'd be wearing a lot nicer shirt. Um, but, you know, so we do see a lot of German stuff still coming in, just not as much as we'd like. Yeah, and um, also you have nice collection here and it's part of a uh, collection with Fallschirmjäger. Uh, helmet and oh, right. uh, yeah, that's yes. yes, and yes, can you I'm... can you show us uh, these items? Yeah, can we take a look? Okay. 
Yeah. Looks cool over here. Then maybe you can show them your uniform of the month, too. It's a 1944 smock. The helmet is a, a late war helmet. Um, the Luftwaffe, or at least the paratroopers, were still putting the eagles on there. Uh, the yeah, it, it has a, a late war latch system on the helmet. And I got the bandoliers. I like them in gray because. If you get them in camouflage, you just paid a lot of money for a set of bandoliers that you can't really see. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and exactly. It, it kind of looks better where you can see it. Uh, maybe the the camera is an original to the uniform, but uh, but anyway, and um, probably guys with cameras and uh, they was with cameras in uh they they took the trenches lot, yes. they did take a lot of pictures there were a oh, lot yeah. of pictures taken by uh the, but the soldiers yeah it's Leica also and uh this helmet is really nice it's in uh, original condition and uh do you know is there a story behind behind it uh from what family you bought it or it came from a collector mm -hmm. that uh, uh lived in near St. Paul, Minnesota. Yeah. And he was a long time collector. And could you, could you show it? Take, take, take it off, show it. Oh, really nice. How much did you pay? It should be expensive. <laughs> yes, it was expensive. Yeah. Um, you can keep it in secret, so, <laughs> I so know my wife your, wife, your wife can see it. <laughs> But <laughs> but there is a horrible dream of every collector uh, when you wake up and your uh, wife tell you that uh, she sold everything for that prices you told, told her. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah, but anyway, this one really. Well, in the collection that we got this out of, this was kind of an interesting collection because unfortunately the, the, the collector had passed away. Yeah. Um, and his family got the estate. They didn't even know he collected, and he had built a room in his in his house, um, in outside of the like a little vault behind a hidden wall. So they just happened to find the collection, um, and that was one of the pieces that was in there. Um, was the smock in there too? Yes. Yeah, the smock and the helmet. And from the same collection, right? Yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very yeah. interesting. That's very yeah, I also got some uh, SS camouflage and uh, some SS insignia. That's pretty high-end items. I, we oh. were, and this is kind of a funny story, because when the guy first came in our shop, he said, yeah, apparently my uncle collected German stuff, and he had some pictures, but they were, like, taken across the room of a closet, and, and all I could see was Algemeine SS, Algemeine SS, camouflage, 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 SS, SS. And I'm thinking, was he a reenactor? Because nobody has all this kind of stuff in their closet. Oh, yeah. Um, and then he came back a month later because he had gone up to St. Paul and taken some actual pictures. And he, he showed us those pictures. And I said, can we go up tomorrow? Um, because <laughs> I, I knew right away everything was real. You know, once I saw you know, close-ups of the stuff, I'm like, oh, my God. You know, this was, and, and so we drove up there and we had a, um, we looked at everything and we came up with a price and uh, the people had another dealer come in, um, a, a friend of ours, we won't mention his name, um, but you know him. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> right. And, uh, and we blew his offer out of the water. So uh, <laughs> we, we ended up driving, uh, driving home with a rental van full of really cool stuff. It was... Uh, Two Probably he will uh, see it and jealous. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, yeah, he, he he does well on his own. So okay, there was two Algemeine and SS uniforms, uh -huh. and there was two Algemeine and SS hats, an SS officer sword, two NCO swords, a dagger or two, maybe a couple. Yeah. SS oh wow, well, well, so well, sounds well, like really well, cool collection. Yeah. It, it was it uh, uh -huh. honor ring. Oh wow. Um, yeah, that, that's interesting. And how how long ago it was? Uh, 2017. 
20, ah, 17, so it's not not that long ago. No, not that long ago. Yeah, in turn, yeah. yeah with the COVID so, blank. Yeah, that, that's that's <laughs> still cool. fresh enough that we we have a whole collection of documents mm -hmm. that we've finally gone through. Um, four bins of Nazi documents and soul books and ver passes and promotional documents and letters from Himmler and Hitler birthday cards and everything that we're finally going to be uh, able to start putting on the website because now we've got them all cataloged, all written up, all in protective sleeves because there was just piles and piles of documents and we had our friend translate them and put them all together for us so we knew what went with what because everything was just in a big jumble. Yeah, that's very interesting, and uh, um, I think you guys uh, agree with me. It's very interesting stories how um, collectors and uh, dealers buy item items. And uh, do we have uh, another story, funny story about items uh, that uh, exist here? Oh, let's see. Yeah, because I just uh, came. I used to call uh, here and um, say the guy that. Guys, I will be here in 10 minutes, so, so they uh, didn't prepare it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's, <laughs> right. it's like... Okay, we got... Uh, this was a... Like a war souvenir. This is a war souvenir brought home by a German soldier. And in the top of this, it says Poland, 1939. And then it has... Uh, some markings in German. Yes, to Rinderung, it's like um, for in remembrance. In remembrance means to Rinderung, and uh, it's also dated uh, the first March nineteen thirty nine. Because uh, in Europe, uh, day is a uh, in the first place. Oh. Yeah. So that's that's also interesting. War souvenirs. Well, the funny thing about this collection is we actually drove up there with a big bag of cash because we didn't know if they were going to take a check or they didn't really know us so we went up with cash and the the guy took it and he felt it and he said yep that feels about right um, okay <laughs> you know, it, was it hundreds or twenties it was hundreds oh whoa but it was yeah it was a it was a lot that amount uh, that amount you just shown it probably more than i paid for my house uh-huh uh, but that, that that amount you just shown is probably four hundred. It was it was a it was a sizable amount. Oh, <laughs> it was a lot of money, more money than I've you know. Well, but it was an opportunity. Yeah, exactly. You know, so, and you have to strike when the opportunity lets you. A nineteen eighteen pattern imperial helmet painted black SS decals on it, and uh, when we got back, Jerry threw it in the reproduction pile, and. I picked it up and I looked and it was like, hmm, there's an RZM stamp on one side and the SS runes on the other side. And I said, you got to look these things over a little bit. It just <laughs> looks like it's fake. And it was like, it was real. Yeah, so we put that back on the real pile. Yes. Um, and it's like uh, that comments when I sometimes uh, see under my video, uh, below the video, oh, sure. and uh, people sometimes say it's too uh, perfect to be the true <laughs> yes because uh, for me for, for me it's my goal is uh, to collect and to buy pick uh, really cool items and so here this it was the same story too I, cool to be true exactly well and it had fake decals on it you know because yeah. it, it just i knew the decals were no good um you know because i'm familiar enough with ss helmets i just didn't think to look inside um and i and i should have because everything else was real I mean, everything else, the Algemeine uniforms, they had the they had the right pips, it was the right armband, everything was sewn right, it had the right tags, you know, it was like, oh my God, this is all real. Um, and then, uh, but finding this helmet, it was like, oh, okay, he just didn't, you know, because we see a lot of Model 16 helmets, mm -hmm. a lot of black ones, because bikers like them or whatever. Oh, yeah. And then fake decals, so, you know. And oh, we well. are in Milwaukee, it's a lot of uh, Harley Davidson. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. right, yeah. <laughs> And um, and you know I have an idea. Um, a lot of stories um, dealers and collectors have, and oh, yeah. uh, probably next time I can um, tell you uh, probably one big before I 
come. Sure. Um, that I will come and we can prepare some stories for guys and uh, yes, that'd be great. I also enjoy to, to hear the stories and I also can share some. <laughs> oh yeah, I can <laughs> yeah. imagine. So, uh, if you agree, uh, just left the comments um, under this video. Now it's uh, too late. Thank you guys for uh, waiting for me. Thanks uh, for coming in again. It's yes. always good to see you. Yes, and uh, thank you guys for watching this video until the end. I promise I will uh, finally edit uh, that video I uh, <laughs> filmed in February and I will publish it shortly. Uh, so, thanks Alex for visiting. Uh, we really appreciate, appreciate having you come here. Um, and so, <coughs> Uh, for all our people, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, it's very important. Subscribe, uh, press the like button, and don't forget about bell. We stay in touch. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, thank you guys hey, thank for you. Uh, this interview. Okay, thank and you. See you next time.